guys, I'm Allison, I'm the Pampered Wife. I've got my May empties to go over with you. I thought for this video I would also go over what I've replaced those empties with. In this video I'm trying something a little different. I'm going to talk about what I've emptied, but I'm also going to talk about what I've replaced it with. So let me know in the comments if you like this format, if you like seeing the empties compared to the new products that I'm using. I've got some, just the regular stuff, hair care, skin care, cleanser, and a couple makeup items. To start with, I guess we'll start with cleansers. I have two First Cleanse cleansers. The first one I'll talk about is this one by Lavina. It's the Power Vitamin C Cleansing Balm. And Lavina is a black owned brand. It's a luxury line. The packaging itself is very heavy. It's glass with a metal top. The product is red. It looks like slimy blood or just kind of looks like blood. When you put it on your face, it does look like you're covered in blood, you're red. My son really didn't like seeing me like that. It has a scent, not to say it's scented or I don't know, it's not perfumey at all, but I really don't care for it. I also do not care for the texture of this. When I read online from Lavina, it says that it turns oily and spreads out beautifully on your skin. For me, it was a gel, it stayed a gel, no matter how much I rub. I never enjoyed the experience of using it. It did come, which I've lost it, with a gold little spoon so you didn't have to dig your finger in there and it is pretty deep. So the spoon was really helpful and it was nice to use to dig the product out. I did not find that it removed my mascara really well and like I said, I just didn't enjoy the experience of it. It emulsifies okay. I didn't have to use a washcloth to get it off, but I just, I really didn't enjoy it. It was sort of like a solid gel and then over time it seemed to separate into liquid on top and the gel on bottom. I just didn't like it. Then I have the From Green Cleansing Oil. I absolutely love this. This is a favorite of mine. It's a Korean brand, I believe. It's EWG rated. It's an olive oil based facial cleansing oil that removes makeup impurities and sunscreen. It has no scent. It was not real greasy, but was slick enough that you could spread it around easily. It emulsified beautifully. It removes everything. I absolutely love that. So far, that's my favorite cleansing oil that I've ever tried. So what have I replaced those products with? By the way, I didn't use those products at the same time. I just happened to run out of both of them at the same time. I sort of went back and forth. I remember now what I wanted to say about the Lavina. It is a vitamin C containing product with lots of antioxidants and things. For me, it was too active and contributed to some really dry skin and ruining of my skin barrier. So that's another reason. For me, it was just too active. So what I've replaced my first cleanse step with is the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This is what it looks like. It does come with a spoon that attaches magnetically and it is solid at room temperature. It's unscented, but it has a nice smell. I like it. I've heard this described as joyless and I get it because there isn't like a beautiful perfumey scent or anything super special. It's just a basic, to me, basic cleansing balm. It does turn into an oil on your hands, spreads around beautifully. It does emulsify a little bit and wash off, but to me, I need to use a washcloth to get all of it off, or I definitely have to go in with a second cleanse that will remove the residue of, I guess, the oil on my skin. It does leave a residue. It's have another cleanser. This would be, I, I think it's supposed to be able to be a second cleanse, but it actually for me would be a first cleanse. It's the Kinship Naked Papaya Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser. I think the packaging is super cute. It's a nice melon color. It's plastic, recyclable. Of course, the pump part is not recyclable. This was a cream cleanser that was okay. To me, it smells like apricots. It was a really nice scent. It is orange, I guess I can show you that. It's, 
you know, this creamsicle color of orange. It does not foam or anything like that. It's a cream cleanser. You put it on your face and it, you know, you, then you rub it around, rinse it off. It never foams or anything like that. It was okay. I wouldn't say it's great. I think it's a fine for a morning cleanse, but for me at the end of the day, I didn't feel like it removed all my sunscreen or all my makeup or anything. Actually, I just don't think it's really great for anything. I just was totally unimpressed by it. And it was one of those products that I was like, when am I gonna be finished? Is this the last pump? Because I just can't get myself to throw things out typically unless I really, really dislike them. So I did use the whole product up. I would not repurchase it. I would try Kinship sunscreen though. That's something that I would really like to try because I've heard great things about that. So what I've replaced that with is this Plenitude, and I cannot read it, but maybe I'll put it on the screen. This is a cream cleanser, and I actually got this in a Pedivore box. I believe it's a travel size or trial size. It also, surprisingly, whoop, is orange. It has a, a nice light scent, but it's just interesting that it's also orange. This one does come in glass packaging. It's just a cream cleanser. It's nice. Did I say the Kinship dried my skin out? If I didn't go in immediately with moisturizer after using it, my skin would really get dry. This one does not do that, so I am liking it better. So far, this is definitely better than the Kinship. This is the Edible Beauty Deep Sea Collagen Elixir. This for me acted as a humectant on my face. It smells good. It was a clear product. It's what I expect snail mucin to look and be like. I don't use that product. If any of you know about it for skincare, it's very popular, especially in Korean beauty. This was like slimy and clear and smells great and one or two drops would really thin out and go a long way. It wasn't at all greasy. It's to really plump and hydrate your skin. Let's see, it says pump, plump and refine. It was lovely. And what I've replaced it with is this Eminence Organic Skin Care Firm Skin Acai Booster Serum for aging skin. This is basically a hyaluronic acid serum that also has some antioxidant in it. Acai is an antioxidant, a great antioxidant, and this one is purple. It's also, you know, a little slimy. It smells a lot of acai. I believe that's what the what I'm smelling there, which I don't it's like good in the beginning, but then turns. And I know that's just what it smells like. It's just what it's supposed to smell like, but I don't love the scent. So far, it's worked just fine. It's been lovely. I really like Eminence as a line. Actually, this was used on me in a facial and was recommended to me. So of course, I mean, of course I got it because I'm an easy sell when it comes to skincare or makeup. And I think it helped that it's for aging skin. Humectants are wonderful for aging skin because they plump the skin and make wrinkles appear a lot less prominent. I have two vitamin C serums here that I've used up. The first one is the Christina Holy and Marie Veronique C Therapy Serum for sensitive skin. This is the vitamin C serum that I ended up getting after my video, which vitamin C serum should I choose, which I will try to put up above and will include in the description. By the way, I always put links for everything I'm talking about in the description box. So if you have questions about them or wanna know exactly what it was, just go look there. So this is what I got. I had previously been using Marie Veronique's another vitamin C serum, which I found was too harsh for my face. Just I developed sensitivities from it in combination with other things, but I knew I needed something a little more gentle and this being for sensitive skin, I thought would be a great choice for me. It smells good to me. I think maybe it smells like turmeric. I'm not sure. I enjoy the scent. It definitely smells like a spice of some food. You did need to shake this. A lot of vitamin C serums you need to shake. What I really didn't like about this was the packaging. The Well, it's a glass container and, and then it's a, like a, it's a pump. This pump is so aggressive. It's like a two-year-old pitching a tantrum. It would just spit 
and spray so hard and erratically it ended up on my mirror on the wall behind me like it would hit my hand I don't even know how it got on this wall also it was sticky it I don't believe the other version I tried was as sticky as this. I can't remember to be honest, but this was definitely sticky. I don't know, the formula may be good. It didn't cause any sensitivity. I don't know that I saw great results with it, but between the aggressive pump and the stickiness on my face, I would not repurchase this. Then I also used the Fit Glow Beauty Vita Active Serum. And this is a vitamin C little trial size that they sent me with some other products that I purchased. It was really nice. A little bit went a long way. It really spread out all over. Let's see if there's any more. And there's a little bit on my hand. Wow, now a lot's coming out. Huh, well I'll rub that all over my hand so it isn't wasted. I don't smell any scent. I like this airless pump system they have. It pumps out really nicely, spreads out nicely was not sticky it went great with other products i don't know about results though because it's a pretty small little trial size i just didn't get to use it long enough to see the results but it's really nice the experience of using this one was really lovely and i i would i'll consider getting this but what i am using now what's replaced these items is the Common Air 10% Vitamin C Serum. And this is in my May Favorites, which I will also link up above and post a link to in the description box. I talk more about them in that video, but simply they are, or it is, little individual packets of vitamin C that you open and put all over your face. Zero waste, so far so good. This is one that isn't empty, but I am decluttering. This is the Beauty by Earth Self Tanner. I didn't actually use a lot of it. I got it like two years ago. It's supposed to be good for 12 months. I used it a lot the first summer that I got it, and then COVID hit, and I didn't use it at all during that time. I just don't wanna put this on. I don't know if it's good or bad. I haven't tried it since then, but when I was using it, I really, really liked it. It smells really good, a little coconutty. It was super easy to spread around. I used it on my face, I used it everywhere. I didn't have a special mitt or anything. I just spread it all over. It was pretty emollient, actually. And a little bit went a long way, which is why there's so much left. To replace that, I got the Suntegrity Natural Self Tanner with antioxidants, organic botanicals, color powered by sugar beet DHA. I love Suntegrity. I've used two of their sunscreens and I've got some lip products. So I thought I'd give this a try. This also smells really nice. It's a coconut scent. I feel like this one is, the scent is not as strong as the Beauty by Earth, which I like better because I prefer unscented or only lightly, mildly scented things. I want it to smell nice, but I don't want it to overpower me or linger too long, and that's what this is. I've used it twice. I put it on about three hours ago, probably, so I actually kind of have it on now. I see I need to add some to my my shoulders because I usually wear a sleeve on my, with, on my shirt, and I see I have sort of a farmer's tan. So I should put a little more up here. And any anyway, this is also super easy to use. It's not quite as emollient as the other product. It doesn't go quite as far as the other product, but I'm enjoying using it. I ran out of one of my 100% pure hand butter creams. This is Ginger Aid. I love most of their scents, actually. This was lovely. It is a thicker cream that really does a great job moisturizing and I rely on these all the time. Love it, would definitely get it again. But I've tried something new, which is the Pi Heavy Metal Body Calm Hand Cream, Rescue Hand Cream. I love this in a very different way. I'm actually just gonna put some on right now. Seems like everything I'm using or showing you is, you know, sort of orangey. This is yellow, but still, that's kind of funny. Fergonia and sea buckthorn are two ingredients in this. This one is just more elegant. I think that's the difference. This one's just more elegant. It's thinner in texture as far as application goes, 
but it does just as good of a job as far as moisturization goes. I love the scent. I don't know if that's sea buckthorn. I thought it was rose hip that I was smelling. This one doesn't leave a film. It sinks in. Right now it hasn't fully sunk in, but it just, it's, it's so nice and your skin feels just so smooth after you put it on and I just love it. So I'm really enjoying that. I believe I'll have to compare prices and see which is more expensive, but I, I, I love both those products. Okay. This was a I guess a travel size of the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I really enjoy this one. It's it's good. I'm not going to repurchase it because they make another one that is by the same name but comes in a single use packet and I don't know what the difference is but that one works far better but this is good. Currently I'm not actually using a deep conditioning mask. I've been using this Everest waterless conditioner concentrate and I have a video about this as well so I will include that up above and down below. I found this to be enough for my hair that I don't need a deeper moisturizer. Typically I would use something like this every single time I shower but since I've been using this Everest conditioner I haven't needed a deep condition. Um, that's what I used with this and typically my hair would be like a frizz, a frizz halo all around and yes my hair does still have some frizz but it's far better than any other conditioner I've used and what's weird is when I'm using it in the shower it doesn't feel like it's conditioning it doesn't feel like that slimy silky smooth conditioning feel but it really works great my only caveat is if you don't have coarse thick hair like I do it may be too much or you probably just want to use a lot less than I do but I have a mascara this is the Elate Mascara. I don't know if it has a special name. I liked this one. This is what the wand looks like. It's just a black mascara. I thought it was good for every day, but you could also build it up. I would get some little black flecks as the day went on or later in the day, but not much and it wore great. I, I really, really like this one. I would consider repurchasing it, but I'm always trying new things, so that will, now I'll tell you what new things I have been using. I've actually been using two. I would say both of these probably equal this one, Elate. One of them is the Merit Beauty Mascara. And this one is just great for every day. They call it a tubing mascara. It's not, I don't know why they call it tubing. Here's the wand on this one. It's a really nice black mascara that does a little bit of lengthening and separating. It's just great for every day. With the mask on and all the moisture going up into my eyes, it's never once smudged or flaked or anything. It wears great, which goes to my next really only issue with it is it's a little difficult to get off at night. The other one I'm using is the Bite Beauty Mascara. It's a volumizing mascara. That's what I have on today and it is a massive wand. This is actually a travel size. I really like it. You can definitely build and get volume on your eyelashes but by the end of the day there is a dusting of black underneath both of these are substituting in for the elate which I could wear every day or build up the final products are these little samples well actually there's just one product here's the carewise clean foundation cream cream foundation and just sheer and I got it from the detox market they do these samples with every order that you get to choose I got to choose the shade and here it is I it's a cream foundation I love the carewise liquid foundation so I thought I would try out their cream foundation which came out first and it was really nice I pretty much used my fingers to spread it around kind of tap it in to the skin. It's just more full coverage than I typically wear, but it really wore nicely, felt nice, performed nicely. I thought about purchasing a full size, but I just don't think I need one right now. My newest sample is this Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation. This is in neutral 3.5. It's what I have on my face today. It's a loose powder. 
I love it. It's just done a nice job evening out my skin tone. I think the finish is beautiful. It's satin matte. It's not matte, it's not satin. It's just done a beautiful job. I can't believe how many uses I've been getting out of that teeny tiny little sample, but I am 95% sure I'm gonna get a full size of that. I just have to pick the shade. So I guess it's in summer this is a good shade for me, but if I were any paler, it would not work for me. So that's the only up in the fence thing that I'm thinking about. But that is all of my empties for the month of May. I hope this was helpful or useful. Please chime in with if you like this new format or not where I show you what I'm using in its place. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all and a thumbs down if you did not. I'd love to know that, but if you didn't like it, you probably didn't make it this far. No hurt feelings. In the meantime, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.